and let's just say he's way too good at goodbyes. Reading did a Reading, and talk to the Wilder turned feral. Playing the players or HMRC? Sam Smith. No, not that prick. The one who played for Cambridge last year. Be strong. Be strong. Hello, my name is Laura Royal, and today we're going to be talking about Reading's transfer window so far. At the start of the window, Reading were charged with going against the business plan set out by the EFL and not paying the players or HMRC. This meant that Reading's window towards the beginning has been fairly quiet. However, when those charges weren't resolved, we were heavily linked with Chris Wilder as our first team manager. But Reading did a Reading and talk to the Wilder turned feral. So Ruben Sellers was our next candidate. To add to this, we were also heavily linked with Theo Walcott, who on his day was a great player for Arsenal and played in the Premier League last season under Ruben Sellers, which would possibly encourage him to sign once the charges were resolved. And as of the 12th of July, we had no embargo going on on the EFL website. This allowed us to bring in the first signing of the season, Harvey Nibs, who was playing for Cambridge last season. He is thankfully a midfielder number 10, which is looking to replace Tom Ince, who signed for Watford for 60k this season, which I've talked about in a previous video. After that, we were linked with two trialists in QPR. However, we've only been keen on signing Luke Amos, who is a championship proven midfielder and is much needed for the team. And finally today, we signed the one, the only, Sam Smith. <laughs> No, not that prick, the one who played for Cambridge last year. Sam used to play for Reading in the academy and got his first senior goal in 2017 at the Madstadt and later left to, and I quote, learn his trade. In League One, he was doing something unholy, <laughs> scoring 14 goals last season. And let's just say he's way too good at goodbyes. <laughs> And after joining Oxford on loan in 2018, a couple of years later, he went 4-5 and five against them. The Oxford players must have thought they were dancing with a stranger. <laughs> and we signed him on a three-year deal, so hopefully he stays with us. <laughs> However, we've also been linked to Joe Lumley, who was great with the fans last season and amazingly good at time-wasting, but was just okay in goal. This may have been a bit down to our leaky defence last season, or our poor tactics by Paul Lintz. So that just wraps up our transfer window so far and hopefully bring some more players in the next coming days. If you have anything to add, please do let me know in the comments. And as always, stay loyal.